So in this module, we're gonna talk about what an ambulance company is. We're gonna talk about the market a little bit, where it's going over the next five to 10 years. We're also going to talk about how you can make money in this space, how you actually get paid, which is the good stuff. Yeah. And also how much it costs to start up. So Tiffany, before we get into the good stuff about the dinero, that money, <laughs> let's answer the question of what a private ambulance company is. So Tiffany, what is a private ambulance company? Well, I know we're all familiar with the lights and sirens that we hear and see racing down the road to get to the scene of an accident or racing maybe to the hospital to get somebody life-saving treatment there. Um, and like these ambulance services, we are guided under the same rules and regulations set forth by our state. And so that means generally we have to have our ambulances staffed by two state approved EMTs and we have to be under the supervision of a medical director. And so, of course, we both like 911 and private services transporting sick and injured individuals. It's really cool because a lot of people, when they think about ambulance companies, they're associated with being owned by a local government or mm -hmm. a hospital based ambulance company. Yeah. But a good segment of the market is actually owned by you know, private companies and individuals. So that's definitely um, pretty cool that you can go out here and start your own ambulance company. And since you're taking this course, you don't have everything you need to uh, do so successfully. So now that we know what it is, I'm going to talk about a few ways to make money, a few services that a private ambulance company can offer. One is a county-based contract. A county-based contract is essentially a contract that you will get from the county to respond to the 911 calls. Yep. So every time 911 is called, if you have that contract, you'd be responding to that 911 call. Another one is hospital-based contracts. So you would get a contract with the hospital and essentially you would allocate a few of your ambulances to that hospital and you would be responsible for you know, doing their discharges and doing their interfacility transport. So that's hospital to another hospital. And another big one is events. You know, anytime an event is thrown, like a concert or a football game or any other sporting event, they need to have EMTs staffed at that event. So another business model is essentially leasing out or, or charging um, organizations for using your ambulance and EMTs. Yeah. I'm gonna let you talk about the big one too. Well, you make a lot of money doing that too, though. You make a lot of money doing that too. But the big one for us is dialysis transports. And we call it the big one because, you know, this is the model that we've used from the beginning. I get 99% of my income and revenue from this model of transporting people who are on dialysis yeah. that need stretcher ambulance transport. And the reason why I chose this model is because it's very predictable. People that are on dialysis, they must go usually three times a week. And so we are able to bill for two trips per day. Yeah. And so that six trips per week is very, very, very predictable. It's very scalable. And once you get it down packed, you can grow, you know, yeah. as quickly as you want to. Yeah. So we're gonna learn a lot about that in the next com or in the upcoming video. And a, a great thing about, you know, this this model, this Dallas model is um, anytime you get a new transport, they can be your customer for two, three, four, five plus years. True. You know, so Very that true. security as a business owner is, is amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. So stay tuned. We're going to teach you some more soon.